Hello and welcome. Today we, we're having a conversation with Haley Walls. Haley will talk a little bit with us about Wikipedia. Uh, it's nice of you to be here, Haley. Thanks. So let's start with a little a bit of a background. What is Wikipedia, and who uh, uh, and who was it invented by? Um, Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia which is, has a collaborative editing system. Um, Wikipedia was created by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger. The term Wikipedia actually is a play on words. Uh, wiki is something that they actually came up with mm -hmm. that it means collaborative internet use. Okay. And it's actually from the like originated from the Hawaiian word wiki, which means quick. Huh. And then encyclopedia, they took the pedia from that. So to like within the name itself, it says collaborative encyclopedia. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So what led to its creation and how has it started? Um, it started in, it launched in January 2001. It, became as, uh, it began as a complimentary assistant to the English language encyclopedia, Newpedia on March two, uh, 9th, 2000. Um, this was like Wikipedia, except for it didn't have um, a collaborative editing system. It had formal people that would go in and review it and experts that would write it. Okay. Okay, well, who specifically uses Wikipedia? So many people use Wikipedia. Um, actually, <laughs> after only a year of running, uh, in 2002 it had reached a 26 language, a language edition, followed by 46 in 2003, 161 in 2004, and as of October 2012, it has 285 different languages. 200. I didn't even know there were 285 languages in the world, <laughs> yeah. so that's a lot. Um, a lot of teachers have a problem with using Wikipedia. Why is this? Um, uh, as I've said before, it's a collaborative encyclopedia, mm -hmm. which means that any person can go on and um, write it, and sometimes that means it's flawed, it's incorrect. Some people write vulgarity, just just to be annoying. Um, uh, it's mostly stopped now because they just tighten the rules so that teachers wouldn't have such a problem. Okay. Because, you know. So uh, how can Wikipedia be beneficial for students especially? Um, Wikipedia is actually a great source of information. Um, it has just an amazing amount of knowledge. Wikipedia, as of October 2012, has an extremely impressive number of 23 million articles. 23 on it. million. Four of them only, uh, four of them alone being English. Wow. And, uh, one of the major issues that teachers have is that it's not exactly cited material. It's okay. not something that comes from something. However, if you scroll to the bottom, you can find where they got the information from okay. and go to that and cite that okay. information. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the technology behind it? And is there anybody else who uses this technology? Um, the technology that is used for Wikipedia is called a wiki, which is a collaborative editing system where any one person can go and change information as I've stated before. We actually use one for this class and it is um, Google Drive and it's just something where you oh, can I go see. in and okay. you can change it yourself. Anybody can like change whatever they need okay. to. Um, so is this a helpful technology or is this something that causes a certain laziness in students? Um, I believe there's reasonable arguments for both sides. Okay. Uh, there's like so much information on Wikipedia, so much. But it's not the only way to get information. And a lot of students find, if they're in a crunch or something mm -hmm. like that, they're like, oh, I'll go to Wikipedia okay. and just check on it and okay. then write a paper. And that loses some information. You know, it doesn't okay. have everything on there. And But it's also really nice to go on there because you can find information that you didn't even know about, and then you can find where they originally cited it from. Okay, so one of the problems is that a lot of times students will use it as an endpoint rather than a starting point. Exactly. You know, like in a, a, a exactly. traditional encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. I, I understand. Uh, what exactly can be displayed on Wikipedia, and is there any sort of concern about censorship? Um, there is a concern about censorship, and first off, everything on Wikipedia has to be encyclopedia encyclopedic, that's very hard for to say, and it has to have certain ability, which means it has to have original research coming in for them to actually put it on there. Okay. Um, everything that is edited is edited by the audience, which is us. Mm -hmm. They don't have specific editors to do that. So if they see that, then somebody will go in and say, this is wrong, this needs to be changed. Okay. And they also have um, 
a very big issue of Wikipedia not being able to take sides at all. Okay. So, like, if somebody came and talked about the political debate, mm -hmm. the political election, they can say any information they'd like, except for I think that Obama or I think that Romney. You can't take sides like that. So, like, it's really nice to go on there because it doesn't take sides on anything. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have anything else that you'd like us to know about Wikipedia? No, just that it's really helpful. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for joining us today, Haley. All right, thank you.